in the US, stocks are mixed at the open. Right now, as I speak to you, we've actually got the NASDAQ down about a half a percent and the S&P down about a quarter of a percent, but the Russell up about a third of a percent and the Dow up about two tenths of 1%. And overseas, we saw some interesting activity as well as the China Securities Index, the CSI 300 was down 2.4% at one point, but then there were reports that state-backed funds came in to stabilize the market with the CSI 300 finishing only down six tenths of 1%. So that's known as the plunge protect protection team in circles uh, globally in equity investing circles. And apparently China's plunge protection team came in according to reports. Obviously there's no confirmation of that, but Bloomberg is reporting it. Stock, or I'm sorry, bond yields continue to rise with the 10 year note inching toward 2%. As I speak to you right now, we got the two year at 133, the five year at 181, the 10 year at about 197, and the 30 year at about 226, with yield curve steepening across the board, except for the five thirties. And the 10 year note inching toward 2%, that's the highest level since July of 2019. After that level was reached a few weeks later, the NASDAQ actually fell 20%. Not saying it's gonna happen now, it may have already happened with stocks adjusting to the rise in yields. We saw almost a 20% downturn in the NASDAQ already, but as you can see, the NASDAQ is the index that's suffering the most right now. Commodities, especially industrial metals, are lower. Copper is down about 67 basis points. Crude's taking a break as well, down over 2% as I speak to you right now. Now looking ahead, we have Fed Governor Michelle Bowman speaking. Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester is speaking tomorrow as well as this afternoon. This afternoon, we've got 15 billion in three-year notes being auctioned. And then in terms of earnings today, Chipotle, Yum China, Enphase Energy, and Lyft. Tomorrow before the open, we get Toyota Motors, CVS, CME Group, Honda Motors, Yum Brands, US, CDW, and Fox Corp, obviously amongst others. We are a little light on data tomorrow, German balance of trade, US wholesale sales, then tomorrow night, Japanese PPI for January. Again, that's gonna be tomorrow evening.